simple plan with Natasha Benningfield and jet lag right here on 101.5 The Hawk. I'm Chuck Bordeaux. Here with Savannah Cassetti. Here's the Hawk. Here's the Hawk. Here's the Hawk. Here's the Hawk. Things are being set up right now. Lots of different uh, venues that are all set up right now, including roaming around the site is the Kool-Aid guy. So uh, you're, you're right. Right. I want to check him out, as well as Pete Dutch. You have been roaming around the ground as well. well. Yeah, I actually just got a picture with Kate Burness myself, so I'm not the only lucky guy around here. Uh, maybe try to get a picture with the Kool-Aid guy a little later on as well, because that's always been a dream of mine. And uh, if you come by and you see the Hawk Hut and uh, any of the Hawk staff as well, we're very easily identifiable. We've got our Hawk shirts on. Come say hi to us, introduce yourself, and we got some prizes to give away, some shirts and some stress balls as well. So come take part in the Port Hood Craft Celebration Tour festivities. Lots of fun stuff about to happen. Tonight. Where are the cameras? <laughs> Uh, I got one. Uh, where's your house? 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 Where's that was Green Day and Boulevard of Broken Dreams on 101.5 The Hawk. Pequot County's number one hit music station, and it is a big day. We are in Port Hood for the Craft Celebration that, Tour. Didn't you? <laughs> I didn't. We are joined by Kate Burness, uh, Cameron along with Carrie here. Good and uh, Kate, welcome to the airwaves. Yes. Thank you very much. Once I am again. very happy to be here. <laughs> We're happy to have you. Very I think much. I've been on the Hawk more than I've been on any or any radio station <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, so it's it's the final stop. Yeah. Um, how has the tour been for you? It's been unbelievable. I mean, every single town that we've been to, the response has really been overwhelming, and I think. Uh, that's understandable. I mean, every small town is obviously so excited to host us and spo host Sports Center, but really, it's the towns that got us here, right? So we're only here because you guys have the support and the willingness to come together and, and vote online. So we are so happy to be here, and Dutch and I have already had an amazing time here, so I can't wait for the show tonight, and Irene's going to hold off. And you were, you were just talking uh, and saying that there was going to be good support here tonight. Um, and that kind of shows the support that they've given the whole tour here in Port Hood. What can you say about the people here? The people here have been unbelievable. I mean, we went out on a fishing boat yesterday, and we were going to catch mackerel, and they're like, oh, look, there's a school of whales. And, like, the, everyone who was with us from TSN were so shocked because we never get to I mean, we've been to, like, SeaWorld, but that doesn't count. So we go out there on the boat, and there's all these, I think they were pilot whales, they called. It was honestly one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life and everyone that was with us has been so gracious and such an amazing host and it, honestly I'm, I'm not lying when I say it's almost overwhelming at times of the support and how nice people are in every small town and particularly here I mean you guys have been unreal and uh, you got in uh, yesterday now yes. this, this is your I think I don't even know what day it is right now <laughs> yeah, you've been, been on are we story. still in August <laughs> Barely, barely. Did you, did you see the sign I, I tweeted? Uh, I don't think I did. We have these signs in our bus, and they say, Today oh, is Saturday. Sign. You are in Nova Scotia. <laughs> and I can't even tell you how helpful that is when you've been on the road for 12 days and you've traveled over 2,500 kilometers. Yeah. It's a little things that help. You, you got in yesterday, <laughs> uh, and this is your first your first Cape Breton experience. This is my very first Cape Breton experience. What's, what's uh, describe it? What's it been like? It's, been, it's unreal. Everyone's always mentioned the scenery, the people, the hospitality, and... And you can't even put it into words. Like anyone who hasn't been here before needs to come because it's honestly been the most beautiful and hospitable environment that I've ever been in. And seven o'clock, we're getting going here. We are uh, seven o'clock on, <laughs> on our end of things. It is Saturday. And I just had someone. She's around <laughs> here. Someone, Sunday. Renee, and she'll just pull me off the bus at some point, right, bud? <laughs> and she's giving the thumbs up. There you go. So seven o'clock. What do we got in store tonight? Oh, so we got lost Saturday. in store, Cameron. Oh, actually, I think we're getting going a little bit earlier because what we do is we actually tape the links. For the uh, 10 o'clock show, it will be a little later tonight because there's Sunday Night Football, of course. Okay. And then for that the 2 a.m. show that loops in the morning. So I think we go about half an hour earlier for that. So the, hopefully the whole crowd's here by then and we'll get them all going. Um, we'll tape those links. We'll get everyone excited. We're definitely going to be doing some dancing because we're clearly good at that, as you yes, saw yesterday. Yes, yeah. yeah, Cameron and I had a dance session yesterday. We did, and we'll so, see should, that. Should, I, should right. I leave you guys alone? <laughs> he's, he's already asked me to marry him, so <laughs> yeah. I don't think it can get any more awkward than that. So. <laughs> No, it, it can. No, it would, I can, it I can make I it more awkward. I'm, I'm sure you are. If you ask me, oh. <laughs> I get a little. Only at the topic. Hawk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Only at the Hawk. Uh, so we're getting things going. Uh, now, I guess we're underway here. We're going to get some uh, some entertainment. Carrie, you have our, our yeah, lineup. Yeah, lots to go. Uh, right now, underway, family fun and activities. And I just took a little tour inside the, the Al McInnes Sports Center there, and it's awesome in there. So Is the Kool-Aid sure man in there? 
I don't Women's know, but he's fantastic. Around. He has Skipping not around. stopped dancing, that Kool-Aid guy. So um, <laughs> there's free hot dog barbecue, and there's a live entertainment coming up uh, right now. I guess it starts at 5. Live entertainment just started five minutes ago with us on the air. Come on. Well, exactly. <laughs> this there is you true. go. This is true. All right, so uh, again drop down we are here we're at the Almaguna Sports Center in Port Hood the stage is all set up we're gonna get going as you say a little a little before seven o'clock and uh, entertainment plenty to do here uh, starting now so drop by Kate thank you for joining us thank you always for having me absolutely all right uh, so we will be back and uh, we're gonna keep things rolling <laughs> dance with somebody on 101.5 The Hawk. Hey, how you doing? It's Kelly along with Scotty O and the rest of The Hawk crew. We're broadcasting live this evening from Port Hood where the Craft Celebration Tour is in town getting set to go live in under half an hour. Broadcast of uh, Sports Center from TSN. They've done the big check presentation $25,000 from Craft Canada going to the Al McGinnis Sports Center. Which is spectacular. Now, if you're in the area, if you're in the area of Port Hood, if you're anywhere between 20, 25, 25, 25, I'm so excited, 25 minutes away from Port Hood, get in your car right now, get off the couch, get out of bed, get in the car, drive to Port Hood, be here live. You can record it at home, okay? You can record it at home, be here live, then go home and watch it again later. It is going to be a spectacular event to be here live. One thing that just happened, Kelly and I are sitting here, and the, the clouds... Parted. Yeah, we had and a little bit of there sunshine. There was sunshine. So if you're worried about a tropical storm, Irene, don't worry anymore. <laughs> but maybe Be we can here. describe a little bit about what they have going on. They have sure. a huge stage. TSN stage, and of course, Caperness and uh, Dutchie are going to be uh, broadcasting live from that stage, Sports Center, and they've got the crowd all set up, kind of um, just on the uh, Al, McGinnis, Al McGinnis Sports Center grounds, but on mm -hmm. the road. So you can come down, it's free, completely free, and speaking of free, they have a lot of free stuff to give away, and uh, enjoy this, because this really is, like, how many times do you see something like this? Uh, you don't. Exactly. That's all there is to it. You don't take, uh, TV doesn't go on the road. Radio goes on the road. We come and we go on live on location. We go on remotes and, and, and we'll be uh, a remote broadcast from different places around. But TV doesn't do that. This is huge for television and for television to be in Port Hood today with us. And it's, it's just something you need to see live to experience. That's right. So to sum it up, come down here. You need to be here and experience this for yourself. We'll talk to you again in a few moments, and that's pretty much all the time we're going to have before TSN goes live here from Port Hood this evening for the Craft Celebration Tour. Coming at you next, the Black Eyed Peas and Just Can't Get Enough on the Hawk.